Yellowstone's super eruption 2 million years ago lasted for decades, researchers find. A super eruption at Yellowstone volcano 2.1 million years ago occurred over decades, rather than a single explosive event lasting hours or days, researchers have found. Volcanologist Colin Wilson, from Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand, has analyzed sediment from an ancient super eruption at Yellowstone to understand exactly how magma and ash were ejected from the volcano. Wilson's work on the event, which created the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff, has been featured in the Caldera Chronicles, a weekly column published by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, which is part of the U.S. Geological Survey. The eruption of Wilson and colleagues focused on seeing plumes of ash rise miles into the atmosphere, with pyroclastic flows, a fast-moving mass of ash, gas, and lava fragments, stretching for up to 100 miles from their source. So much magma was evacuated that the ground surface around the eruption vent collapsed to form a 100 by 50 kilometers, 62 by 31 mile, caldera that is among the largest on Earth, Wilson wrote. Coterminus and ignimbrite remains stretch from Big Sky, Montana, to Idaho Falls, Idaho. By studying the layers of sediment from these eruptions, Wilson and his colleagues have been able to compile a timeline of events that occurred at the volcano more than two million years ago. Their findings suggest that there is a time lag between eruption events. In one layer sufficient time has passed for the snow to fall and the weather system to pick up the fallen ash and store it back. They identified three main, ignimbrite units, sheets of volcanic deposits that would each be deposited over days. From these units, they can tell that a volcano erupts, stops, cools, and then erupts again. The time between the first two events may be several months, Wilson said. It can be years if not decades before the next eruptive event occurs, with the deposits indicating there was a much longer cooling period before the next ignimbrite unit formed. He said that if humans had been present for this eruption, they would not have witnessed one major eruption, but several smaller events over the years. Even when a large amount of material erupted to produce widely dispersed ignimbrite units and deposits, the eruption stopped twice, both times for a period which, although geologically, was negligible. will be of great relevance to human interests, through the impact by repeated hazards and interruptions on recovery efforts," Wilson wrote. Understanding how a super-eruption at Mount Yellowstone occurred is important for disaster preparedness. The last caldera-forming eruption occurred more than 640,000 years ago, while the most recent volcanic activity came in the form of rhyolitic lava flows about 70,000 years ago. Earlier this year a team of researchers announced that they had discovered the largest ever eruption at Yellowstone, a massive explosive event that occurred about 8.7 million years ago and covered an area the size of New Jersey in volcanic glass. This same study suggests that eruptions at Yellowstone have gotten smaller over time, potentially suggesting hotspot activity in the area may be diminishing. Wilson says their findings at Huckleberry Ridge Tuff have implications for future eruptions. These findings change the way we think about large Yellowstone explosions, not a single large event, they may consist of several smaller events, and these will have significant implications. For our understanding of this eruption and its impact on the landscape, he wrote. 